Ray tracing isn't just eye candy, it's one of the most demanding features in modern graphics rendering. In this benchmark, uh, we are comparing AMD's RX 9070 XT and RX 9070 across 5 AAA titles with full ray tracing enabled. We will be testing at 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolutions with frame rates, 1% lows and power draw monitored throughout. Both cards features RDNA 4 architecture but with different compute unit counts, clock speeds and power targets. This test isn't about synthetic numbers, it's a real world performance across real games under real workloads. Let's break down the data and see how these GPUs stack up when ray tracing is turned all the way up. Starting with Cyberpunk 2077, one of the most punishing ray tracing titles out there, at 4K the RX 9070 XT manages 28 FPS while the RX 9070 falls slightly behind 24 FPS. At 4040p the XT jumps at 56 FPS and the base 9070 delivers 48. At 1080p performance becomes more comfortable, 87 on the XT and 77 on the 9070 model. Star Wars Outlaws is better optimized. At 4K, the RX 9070 XT hits 49 FPS with the 97 at 43. At 4040p, the gap remains steady. 83 FPS on the XT and 75 on the 9070. And at 1080p, both cards push past the 100 FPS mark. 1, 9 on the XT and 1, 2 on the RX 9070. Dragon Age Velgod performs solidly across the board. At 4K, the RX 9070 XT reaches 53 FPS, while the RX 9070 comes in close at 49. 4040p resolution brings that up to 91 to the XT and 85 on the base card. At 1080p, both deliver high refresh gameplay, 121 FPS on the XT and 116 on the RX 9070. The performance delta is tighter here, showing excellent stability on both GPUs. Black Meat Wukong is the most demanding title in this lineup. At 4K, the RX 9070 XT manages just 14 FPS, with the RX 9070 trailing slightly at 12. At 4040p, it's still borderline playable. 29 FPS for the XT and 25 for the base card. Only at 1080p does it became more reasonable. 45 on the XT and 39 on the RX 9070. Hogwarts Legacy rounds out the comparison with strong performance. At 4K, the RX 9070 XT clocks in at 47, while the 9070 is close behind 43 FPS. At 4040p, that jumps to 82 and 78 respectively. And at 1080p or Full HD, both cards are well over 100 FPS, 114 for the XT and 115 for the RX 9070. Rock Burrow's famous for someone having a pet troll, and not much nothing over here either. On average, the RX 9070 delivers around 10% low ray tracing performance compared to the RX 9070 XT across all tested titles and resolutions. The gap is most noticeable in heavier workloads like Cyberpunk 2077 and Black Meat Wukong, where the RX 9070 trails by 13 to 14 percentage. In more optimized titles like Dragon Age, Velgard and Hogwarts Legacy, the difference narrows to between 4 and 9 percent, especially at 1080p. Across the board, the RX 9070 XT consistently leads, making it a better choice for users targeting higher resolution or more demanding ray tracing effects. When it comes to cost per frame in ray tracing, the difference between the RX 9070 XT and RX 9070 is minimal, and it depends on whether you are looking at MSRP or real-world pricing. At MSRP, the RX 9070 XT actually comes out slightly ahead, delivering $8.91 
versus $8.94 for the RX 97th model. However, based on current US retail pricing that flips, the RX 9070 becomes more cost efficient at $10.59 per frame, while the XT comes in at $10.86. In short, performance per dollar is extremely close, with either card offering near identical value depending on where and when you buy. When it comes to power consumption, the RX 9070 XT draws 330. Watts, significantly higher than the RX 9070, which pulls 236 watts. In terms of power efficiency, the RX 9070 XT uses 4.66 watts per frame, while the RX 9070 is more efficient at 3.85 watts per frame. This means that the RX 9070 offers better performance per watt but the RX 9070 XT delivers higher raw performance at the cost of increased power draw. And that wraps our comparison between the RX 9070 XT and the RX 9070. If you found this benchmark useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, which GPU do you think offers the best value, this or this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. See you soon.